Hey guys, we're back here again. I got the good old uh, tan uh, P mag loaded up here. I got uh, 10 rounds in this magazine right now. We'll be doing a uh, quick rapid shot using the uh, rifle length lower, the uh, aerial precision lower. I'll be using the American Eagle and also using the IMI green tip as well too. The ammunition that's first in the gun right now is the good old tried and true American Eagle stuff right now. So I have uh, five rounds of the American Eagle first and five rounds of the good old IMI as well too green tip stuff. So stay tuned here guys. I got the gun ready to go over here. Got it cleaned up, cooled down for a bit. Uh, it was getting a little bit hot because I was doing a rapid shop here a few minutes ago. So barrel was about uh, getting a bit, a bit hot on her. So I let it cool down for about 10 minutes right now. So we'll go ahead and get the camera situated here. And it's still chilly up here. It's about 30, it's about 35 up here right now with a bit of windshield. So I got my jacket on. So <clears throat> get this thing situated here for you guys right about there. And we'll check the ejection pattern using the 55 grain and the... C2 grain M855. Okay, there we go, guys. Got the uh, tan magazine, brand new, by a couple months old. It's the windowed tan magazine Gen 3. Good, ready to go. A2 red lower. We'll check the ejection pattern using the 55 versus the C2 in the same magazine. Check it out. See what it does, guys. Get a good stance here for you. Looks good. Ran perfectly fine. No problems with it whatsoever. So no hiccups, it ran absolutely fine. Uh, the C2 grain stuff seemed to have a little bit, maybe about five or ten percent more recoil when I was comparing it. You know, just firing it randomly like that. So the C2 grain stuff seemed to have just a teeny bit more felt recoil using the rifle length A2 stocks, some guys. So ran great, no problem.